Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbback. Now in the previous episode we were very busy setting up for the Straw Harvest DLC and I've already harvested two fields. This one, the small one I baled just because we do need bales for the cows, for bedding and for the total mix ration, but the other one and the one we're about to harvest, they're going to be pelleted. Yeah, so we're going to basically pelletize the straw with a very expensive machine which is going to require a very expensive tractor to do. Uh, essentially producing the pellets for the palletizing hall. Bit of a mouthful, but we're going to make lots of money. So, yes, before we move on to August, we need to get this done. I don't want to be keeping this combine overnight because we'll get the daily fee, which won't be a huge amount, but it will still be a few thousand pounds, relatively speaking, of course. So, um, yeah, just contending with the traffic. Squeeze through here. We've got these poles on the right, and the cars that keep squeezing through on the left. But here we are. Yes, yeah, so we'll take this track, we'll go behind the barns, and then we can go around the back to the other field. I want to keep calling it the canola field because it was canola initially, but it isn't canola now, so I don't know why I want to keep calling it that. It should be oats. Yeah, I think it's an oat field. So yeah, we're going to do it, and we will put the oats into storage because the price of oats is not good until December. At least that's what I think. Yeah, I think it is. We are just keeping them. Um, but yeah, the whole field will certainly fit into one trailer. We managed to get two fields into one trailer before. And this one is the same productive, it's same, just as productive, basically. It's not... it's 100% just the same as all the others. So, we need to find a good place to put the header trailer. I'm thinking here, and then we can cut across. So, there we go. Right. Okay. Oh, I, I always do this. Whenever I'm attached to a header, I always accelerate instead of brake. I don't know why. It's the only time I do it. Right, okay. Unfold the combine. Turn the beacons off. Oh look, I drilled a bit into the neighbour's field. And I probably can't harvest it either. Nope, we don't have access to it. So, let's not chop. Let's put this onto swath mode. There we go. I love how satisfying the, the swath looks when it comes out of this combine harvester. Looks so good. And you still get a bit of chaff coming out of these shoots. So I'm wondering, yeah, I should probably go around Headland once before we put it onto a worker, but we do need to bring the traction trailer across here, and it would be good to also do the uh, pelletizing at the same time. So if we can, uh, we break out forward, we have to take out a loan, or extend the loan, which will be repaid as soon as we have the best price for the, the oats available. But yeah, we're, we're going to have to rent a big tractor, we're going to have to rent a pelletizer, and then we can deliver straight to the hall, straight to the pelletizing hall, and they can start to produce pallets. I know for a fact we're going to have to get a forklift pretty soon uh, for taking the pallets off the pelletizing conveyor. Um, so, yeah, again, it might be rented, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Thing is, we have tons and tons of potential money to make, but at the moment we have nothing. It's all bank's money. That's just the way it is, and I guess that's the same for any business that's just trying to set up. But I do this lap get the trailer and then we can sort out the palletizer.
Okay, right, so the combine is now pretty much empty, except for the piece it just got at the end there. Uh, please don't roll away tractor. <laughs> yes, we need to get some money. Uh, so let me just go on to here. I don't know exactly how much we need. Oh, we don't have too much of a loan. 70,000 now, which isn't too difficult to repay. Um, but we do need a super powerful tractor. Super powerful. So I don't want to go with a tract one if we can help it. That Fent one, really, yeah, the the Magnum makes sense. Yeah, 435 horsepower, 17,000 pounds. It's about the same again, probably like 16 something for the pelletizer. Uh, so it's certainly not cheap to do this, but you do make a serious amount of money back from it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not going to be uh, helpful. Where's it gone? Yeah, I want to refill automatically, ideally. Because I don't know how much we need, I don't want to overbuy. 16,830. There we go. So, of course, we're going to keep it on the combine. It's only 15% full. Uh, and, and this is our nice, powerful setup to start producing pellets. Now, of course, we do already have a field, but I want to be with the other machine so I can keep an eye on it. But we're going to be doing both, and I seem to remember this is actually a very slow machine. It's like a top speed of six, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, I can actually enable... I might already have it installed. Yes, I do. The real speed limit mod, so we can actually increase it slightly. If it feels really, really slow, like if it does four miles per hour, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll certainly increase it. But I think even if it's six, I'd like to do eight. Unfolding. Switch it on. Suck all the power out of the tractor. Regardless of it being over 400 horsepower. Wow, it's just incredible. Why does it take so much? And we are doing six, so I want to get that to eight at least. Suggested working speed is ten. Oh, I've got it set to 32. Probably not. Not a good idea. We'll try 10. Uh, yeah, that, that feels natural. I, I don't want to do anything that feels really unrealistic. That feels fine. It just feels like we're bailing. That's good. And you can see the pellets are coming up with this conveyor belt. Don't want to come off track. Of course, you can do this with hay as well. You can produce hay pellets. But we're doing the straw pellets and, well, we're, we're not going to do hay pellets, I don't think. Um, no, it'd be very expensive as we're leasing. We don't want to lease just to do that one grass field. We'll just do hay bales for the cows. In fact, we do need to do some hay bales. That's one of our next jobs. And then, we're going to have to uh, unload into the trailer. Hopefully the combine is going to be done pretty soon. Because we do only have the one trailer. But what we can do, if necessary, is empty that trailer, then put pallets into it, and then empty it, and then you know, put the uh, oats into there. But we are getting through the field pretty quickly, so we shouldn't need to do that. Already, 58% full, though. There they all are. It would be good just to get the machine going, just to get the palletizer going in the, in the hall. That hall was quite expensive, £175,000. But I think you'll agree, it's an impressive piece of machinery. And I'm coming off course. I <laughs> don't want to do that. There we go. There we go, that's good. I love that water down there, it looks so natural. It looks a bit flooded actually, like it shouldn't be that deep. But still, very natural. 90%. And I think probably when the combine gets back up to the other end, we're going to have to unload. But at least we've managed to do one lap, almost. So close to one lap. Uh, and that is 9,000 litres. I have no idea how much these are worth for 1,000 litres. We can find out. Possibly. 486, but we can get 615. Um... But yeah, you get a lot. Well, actually, to give you an idea of how different that is, 615 for a thousand litres of pellets, and for a thousand litres of just 
straw. Um, no, I always go past it. 144 if we're lucky. If we get it on a really good day. Anyway, back into the tractor and trailer. What I'll do is I'll unload. Then we're going to put this into storage in the silo. And then we'll have to come back and empty the pelletizer into this trailer. So, see you in a second. Okay, so that's two loads into there. It looks like it is actually exactly 25% of a trailer load for each one of those, so it's gonna be 50% full. Um, oops. Yes, the store does have a forklift. I guess we could borrow it. That would possibly seem all right. Um, <laughs> actually, shall I just, like, we've got the tele, I know we've got the telehandler, but I don't wanna use the telehandler. That's for the bales and it's just a bit too big to get into that tight area. So uh, shall we just head down the road with this? We could do 10 miles per hour. We might get there before it's dark, possibly. We'll see. Um, they have a big problem with deer here. Yeah, we'll take this. And then we can put the we can tip the first load of pellets into the pallet hall. Get the palletizer going. Coming through traffic. Don't blink, you might miss me. We've made it. I probably went the slow way by going wrong, but anyway, we have uh, got the forklift to the building over here. Um, I might have to start moving some of these machines. Not too sure where the best place is, but yeah, we basically unload into the bay over there. But oh yeah, yeah, that's what I do, isn't it? I haven't done this for so long. You can use the, the uh, bridge crane, uh, and you can pick it up from here and put it into here into the hopper, and it will it will process them. But what I tend to do is just use the telehandler, scoop it up from here with one massive bucket load and put it into there. But then, yeah, when I was saying the, the telehandler is too big, I find it too big to work in this corner because when you're taking the pallets off here, it gets a bit tight. So really we need the telehandler and we need the forklift. But for now, uh, we just need to keep things out of the way. So we'll just put this here. Really we need to use the other door. Yeah, uh, actually we could back up through here, that's perfect, absolutely perfect. So, we are I'm fully aware that we are clocking up the hours on this tractor, so we'll turn that off. We will unload this. The combine has finished, I believe. Actually, yeah, if the combine is finished, we don't need to rush to unload that. What's it doing? It's at 99% full and it's just driving backwards and forwards. It had just the right size tank. Very good. No, so we'll put that there, and we will actually resume doing this. We will fill the trailer, so that's another two loads, I think. Well, we'll do two loads. Might not all fit, but it'll be close. And, well, you never know, actually. If we do two more loads, that might almost finish the fill. I don't think it'll totally finish it, but it might almost finish it. Apologies for the time lapses, but really, it is the only way of doing this, because if we don't, like one episode is just going to be well. The episode, this episode would already be finished because it would just be one long talking session, and it would be already like forty minutes long. So, time lapses are essential, and I actually don't mind them. I think when you mix them in, they're, they're really good. And I think if you are just doing a time lapse only video, that's already that's good anyway. But um, yeah, I think if you if you're doing a talking video and you do too much time lapse that's when it becomes a little bit too much, if you know what I mean. Like, if it's not supposed to be a time-lapse video, then it can seem a little bit... Ah, oh, what's the word? Well, just the wrong thing to be doing, basically.
So it's 25% for every load of the trailer. So this should get us exactly to 100%. With nothing at all left in the Pelletor. But I will make sure I've turned off the tractor's engine because it is, like, like I said, it's clocking up the hours which is costing us. We can't turn it off until it's finished unloading, of course. And there we go. And it is indeed 100%. 36,000 litres of pellets. Now, you might be able to sell these loose, and maybe that was the price we were getting before. I'm not too sure what the pellets are worth. You must get a bonus, surely. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what happens, but there must be a bonus for doing it palletised than just doing it loose. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point in doing... Uh, we're spending £175,000 all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you take it to the pallet sale point. I'm guessing when we actually do buy that, we'll be given a different price. I've crashed. But, I'm hoping this is going to be relatively easy. I'm looking to just reverse straight back up that track. And then tip. Hopefully. But then I do say all the time that nothing here is ever easy, but I think this time it might be. Let's see. Let's see if something is easy for once. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Straight through the doors. But not straight through the back wall. Nice. Very, very nice. And not straight through the roof either. Let's just turn off the HUD. Okay, so as you can see we do have already a pretty massive pile there. But that's not going to start processing until we actually get it into the hopper. So we need to get that telehandler across here. Uh, we do have a bucket, but that is... Well, actually, we've taken the bucket over there as well. So let me just sort things out. There's my bucket. Um, I think in the past I have used these massive buckets, like super big ones, because it's just so much easier. But I think for today we are going to have to stick with this. The cows are fine, we don't need to do anything with them. Okay, right. I won't time lapse this or anything, I'll just see you back over at the farm. That's a dirty track we've left. Brought mud into our nice clean hall. Right, so this is where we can start to transfer the pellets into that hopper. And it's going to initially um, not start the palletizer because it has to take it up that little conveyor belt. Like that won't start, just start immediately. So we should see them go up there. There it goes. Actually, did it did put the pallet in there, didn't it? But there's the first bag. Ignore me. It, it's pretty much instant. Good. And uh, that has taken that really fast. I'm just going to be quiet, you know. I'm going to just do this, and it can speak for itself. I just... Uh, maybe um, my memory of it is when it's full. Um, I don't know. For some reason I just have a memory of that being much slower, but it isn't. That's good. Let's go for it. Right, so we leave that. Still got some in the bucket, but we can just leave it and it'll take it as and when it requires it. Uh, you can see this first pallet here is being produced. In fact, it's almost done. 
it's going to be shrink wrapped it's going to be thrown well not thrown it's going to be rolled to the end of here <laughs> that would be some production line they they hurl the pallets to the end if the pallet stands up right at the end then it's worked <laughs> right okay i think i'm probably laughing at my own jokes here let's go and unload that pelletizer again in a minute let's finish the pelletizing and yeah get that field wrapped up You've got to humour me. Well, the good news is we've only been running for 0.3 hours, so we should be able to get the other field done as well within the same hour on the tractor and on the machine. Um, we will, of course, have to incur a daily fee, but the daily fee is much less than the hourly fee. It's the hourly fee which is the expensive one because that is the time it's actually working. The daily fee it could just be sat around in the yard. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we'll be incurring that daily fee, but not the hourly, hopefully. But that is this field done, and that is going to be uh, all the pelletizing we're going to do today. Still quite a chunk. We will leave the pelletizing hole to work. We actually do need to get a flatbed. We do already have the low loader, so we'll probably use that. Uh, but let's just let's just go and unload this, and then we'll come back. We'll do that combine. We'll return the combine, and then I guess we'll call it a day. Just keep filling this up. That's good. We've got a full conveyor there. Right, switch that off. Shut it all down. So we're going to tip this into the hopper as well. This is just the combine. The combine is the priority. That needs to really go because that's going to incur an unnecessary daily fee. Can we get this twice in a row? <laughs> Maybe. Right. Floor it in reverse. Right, there's no rush but it's still fun to see if you can do it at speed. There we go. Nice. Right, so just tip that. It's not bad for a day's work, I would say. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just take these off the conveyor belt. Um, obviously we'll be dealing with this in the next episode. We'll bring the low loader across. It does seem silly to take them off and then put them on the ground. We want to just take them off and put them straight onto a trailer. So I will just... Uh, what should I do? Yeah, I don't want to be faffing around. I'll just do two. Take that one off as well. It stops anyway, I think, hasn't it? Oh no, it's just resuming now. Okay, yeah, so next episode we'll be really focusing on working in here and doing the other field of pelleting but that's not bad for one episode thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it and until next time see you again very soon bye for now